Hey Polish peeps, welcome to my channel. Welcome to February um, wish listing for Polish Pickup. Today is Thursday, Polish Pickup is tomorrow. I almost missed it. <laughs> but I wanted to get in here and, and share with you guys what my wish list looks like currently for February Polish Pickup. Um, if you guys don't know what Polish Pickup is, I'll try to link all the information down below, but basically it is a collaboration for all of the indie makers, well not all of them, but a bunch of indie makers, um, where they make a polish based on a particular theme. This month's theme is world travel. Oh my gosh, I just logged out. Hold on just a second. And I have 16 uh, items. We'll say items because they're not all polishes. Hold on on my wish list. Um, some of them are polish related, not necessarily polishes. Well, we'll say I have 14 polishes on my wish list and two um, not exactly polishes. Well, one of them is still a polish, but it's a stamping polish. Um, so, Again, like always, I need you guys help to help me narrow down. We're gonna narrow down to four, maybe five this month. I'm trying to be good, but I have 16 on my wish list. And I also have several other wish lists that I am currently trying to make a decision on purchases. So we're not even gonna go there, talk about that. We're just gonna talk about the polish. Um, so let's get started talking about the polish because there are 16 and I don't want this to be a super long video. I feel like I say that every time I get ready to do a wishlist video. So we're going to go with the non-polish related items. I have a stamping polish on here from Hit the Bottle and it is called um, Stuck on You. And it's actually a it says Cinnabar Pigment Kit. Um, it is described as a sticky black stamping polish that's to be used with pigments or nail art foils. I don't really play, long, play um, a lot with pigments or nail art foils, but I do want to um, do more of that type of stamping. And I just think this is so gorgeous. You guys look at that. So pretty. I um, don't have anything like this to help with this type of stamping. And if you guys know anything about me at all, so if you've been following me on Instagram or following my um, YouTube. Um, I do love to stamp. Um, so it is one of my favorite things to do. One of my favorite types of nail art. And I do have a ton of stamping polishes. However, I do not have this one. Look how pretty that one is. So, um, there is that. And it is priced at $15. Um, and there's 370 available. So if you guys don't know, some of the polishes on Polish Pickup are capped, which means that the maker makes only a certain number of bottles of that polish. And then once it's gone, it's gone. So if you don't get in there and get it and grab it if you want it, and it's capped at say 300, after those 300 sell, you may not ever see it again, unless it comes back for a rewind month. Um, so, I say that to say, if you want it and it's capped at a low cap, you might want to grab it. 370 is not super low. So I'm not super concerned about missing that one, um, but it's really pretty. The other thing I have on here that's not a polish, but really polish related is a base coat by Vanessa Molina. It's a peel off base coat. I do, like I said, do a lot of um, swatching. Well, I didn't say that, but I do swatch a lot and i use peel off base coat for my swatches um, because it makes it easy to apply and then quickly peel off if i am wanting to swatch another polish immediately after it um, it's priced at 1050 and there's 250 available so um that's not a bad price for a peel off base coat and it's inspired by seawaters and it's completely transparent. So I like my peel off base coats to be um, transparent or clear when dry. So that is a good thing. Um, 
the other thing you guys will also have to ignore my children in the background if you hear music or whatever um and actually one of my children is coming in the room yes ma'am you can come in the i'm filming okay anyway um so the first polish on my list is wildflower lacquer this is straight out of saint olaf i really like that name Price at $13, and it is described as a magenta base with a strong red to gold to green um, shifting shimmer, and there's 350 available. You guys, I am really loving this. This looks like it's just gonna pop off the nail. It's beautiful, <sighs> red and just glowy. Um, and this is it on short nails. Um, I mm, I love this so much. I don't know why. This is just really speaking to me. I don't have a lot of red polishes, and I'm really picky about my red polishes. Like, they have to have a certain whatever and go really uh, well with my skin tone. So, this one looks like it will go well um, with my skin tone. And there's just this glow, you guys. It's just gorgeous. Um, here's some more swatches of that one. It's beautiful. I really love the way this one looks. For some reason my camera is not wanting to focus when I get up close but um so that is Night Owl Lacquer straight out of St. Olaf um and then I have next Sassy Cats Lacquer in New York this is just a glowy blurple oh, so beautiful um it's t priced at $12 described as a black jelly polish with intense purple shimmer blue in some angles and shiny um with no top coat um you guys i love blurple polishes and this is just like it is the perfect blurple to me where it looks blue but if you know if you shift it you're gonna get that purple popping off of there look how pretty that is so glowy and it's just my this is my shade, y'all. I'm just saying. <laughs> Trying to find it on. Look how pretty that is. That's gorgeous. I do believe I do have something similar to this. Um, maybe not exactly like it, but probably pretty close. I mean, I probably have something that has the same blue component, but not that purple shift, which is what is really calling to me. Um, that purple shift is just so pretty. Um, so that's $12 and there's only 180 bottles. So if I want this one, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to get in there and get it. Um, because I could miss it and it is gorgeous. So, um, yes, that's Sassy Cat's Lacquer. Polish for days. Um, I'm going to mispronounce this name. Icky Guy. He guy maybe I don't know. Price at thirteen dollars. Described as a deep purple base with black to red multi-chrome shimmer and pink green yellow iridescent flakes. Um, the name means a reason for being in Japanese. I really like that name. But look how pretty that is. Gorgeous. Polished for days. Of course, always does amazing formulas. Um, oh gosh, and it's purple, you guys. I don't know. I don't know if I can pass this up. Um, oh wow. These swatches just get better and better. Look how gorgeous that purple is. I love the flakies. I just cannot pass up a um, gorgeous uh, purple base with those flakies. That is so pretty to me. <sighs> top of my list. <laughs> We're not gonna start that because then I will have all of them at the top of my list. But anyway, this is, um, doesn't look like it has a cap. Polish for Days usually doesn't do a cap, so I am extremely interested and intrigued by that one. Price at $13 again. That's Polish for Days. Icky Guy. I, I don't I don't know. Um, next on my list is Polish Molish. Look into my ice. And y'all, this is super unique to me. I don't have anything like this, and I do mean this. I have nothing like this. Nothing like this color base with this particular 
um, silver flaky. So this is described as a deep blue, deep blue jelly with green undertone, includes silver flakes and a white glitter. So that green undertone really makes this look like more like a turquoise to me, but it's just so deep and just like, it just looks like deep ocean waters with just silver flakes in it. It's really gorgeous to me. It's super um, unique, I think, to me. Um, this is just really pretty. Price at $12.50. It's only 11 milliliter bottle. Now, that's kind of my thing with Polish Molish. I, I have purchased a few of their polishes from, um, from Polish Pickup, but their bottles are really small. Not that I will ever in my lifetime finish a whole bottle of polish, you guys. It's not going to happen. I have too many polishes, but, um, and I guess it's not too bad. $12.50 for that. Even if it is an 11 milliliter bottle is not that bad. So that one's really pretty. Next, I have Paint It Pretty Polish Hit the Slopes. Again, you guys, for polish pickup this time, I think those purple, like these purple polishes are just calling to me. I don't even know if this is the only thermal I have on my list, but it is purple and it transitions to a blue and I don't have any, um, Ignore the microwave in the background, you guys. I don't have any um, thermals that transition like this to this from this particular blue to a purple. So it's described as a warm, no, a blue when warm to purple when cold thermal polish packed with iridescent flakes in gold, green, pink, and orange, yellow, green. Um, yeah. Inspired by Whistler, British Columbia, Columbia. I don't know where that inspiration is. There's no picture, but um, it is gorgeous. 50 milliliter bottle capped at 100. Holy cow. <laughs> That's a really low cap. So if you guys are interested in this, I may pass on it only because I'm trying to limit the number of thermals that I get because I have so many polishes. I will never get to them all. I certainly will not get to a thermal probably before the shelf life ends because thermals shelf life tends to be a little shorter. However, I have heard some polish collectors say that they have thermals that still work after two years. So I don't know. You may want to take your chances. I may take my chances because this is gorgeous. So beautiful. Um, but again, capped at a hundred for to get in there and like put that at the top of your list. If I were you, I would get in, pop it, pay for it, and then get in and pay for the polishes that you want that aren't capped. That's usually how I do that to make sure I get my capped items. Um, MLF Lacquer Red Rocks. This is just, I don't know what it is. I like this type of, it's red-ish. I don't know. It's like a, mm, let me just read you the description. Rusty Red. That's the perfect description. I was like, how do I describe this type of red? Um, a resty reddish mauve shade packed with iridescent flakies that shift from orange to pink to gold and a red to orange to green aurora shimmer. Um, price set, let's see, what's the price? $11 and there's only 200 bottles available. Guys, these caps are kind of low this month. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of causing me a little bit of anxiety. I don't know about you guys, but when it comes to like time for polish pickup, when it goes live, I'm like in there, like, like in the minutes up to it, my heart's beating really fast <laughs> and I like break out in this sweat. <laughs> I know you guys feel me. I'm so serious. Comment below if this is what happens to you, because I'm very curious if I'm the only one, although I know I'm not the only one because I have my polished friends that have confirmed that I am not the only one because we're all in there like like counting down five minutes four minutes <laughs> this is every month every month I promise you it happens so anyway that is MLF lacquer red rocks and I really like that one a lot KB shimmer I can see clearly now I've seen swatches of this so pretty the only thing that um, detours me is that I don't really wear, oh my gosh, 
I don't really wear greens that much, but look how glowy that is. That is just like glowy green lights on your nails. <laughs> Described as, hold on, let me get to the description. Uh, this shifty shade starts with glistening gold that quickly shows off hues of lime and aqua. Ooh, I like aqua. Lime, not so much. A quick flick of a wrist or a change in lighting brings out bolder blues, teal green, and hints of periwinkle. It's that shift, y'all. It's the shift for me. I'm just talking about it. Like it's like if you are turning your hand this way, and then when you turn your hand this way, it looks like something else. That is very, that just draws me and it draws attention to the nails and it draws attention to my nails where people are like, ooh, girl, your nails. I love that. <laughs> I mean, after all, if I'm going to spend the time to paint my nails and I'm a perfectionist, so I, you know, I'm very neat. I'm very like particular. If I'm going to spend all that time, I want somebody to notice. Um, it's a 15 milliliter bottle. There is no cap, which there usually is not for KB Shimmer polishes on polish pickup. But you guys, holy cow, this polish. <sighs> Look at that. I don't like green polishes, but I do like, I mean, okay, let me not say that. I, it's not that I don't like green polishes. They just don't draw me, but that gold shimmer, you guys, oh my gosh, I may have to have this one. It's very, it's pretty unique to my collection too. I don't have anything like that. So if you guys want to make that one of my choices, you can just go right ahead. I could probably say that about all of these. Kathleen and Co. Somewhere over the rainbow, priced at thirteen dollars, um, is described as a sky blue hollow with aurora shimmer and a multi-chrome magnetic pigment that shifts through shades of pink, orange, gold, and green. Now, I did say that I wasn't going to buy thermals, but I did not say I was not going to buy magnetics. <laughs> I really enjoy magnetic polishes. And I get very um, like obsessive about that magnetic line. I'm like, ooh, it's just gotta be crisp and sharp and just like, when you do this, it has to go. <sighs> this polish looks like it would do this. Ugh, look at that line, you guys. Oh my God, so pretty. Let me back up because it's not focusing. Um, I don't know, this one is really, gorgeous and for some reason for a polish pickup um these magnetics in polish pickup this month are just really calling me wait did i give y'all all the information on that one before i um 250 available priced at 13 dollars you guys this is going to be a very hard month for me I'm seriously going to struggle. I'm just letting y'all know ahead of time. It's going to be very difficult for me to cut my list down. Um, Jayreen, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Jayreen, I don't know. It's magic. It's another magnetic priced at $13. It is described as a deep multi-chrome base that shifts from blue, purple, red with a strong pink, gold, magenta pull. Um... Jareen is a 16 milliliter bottle, which is really good for $13 price point. And you guys, it's gorgeous. So pretty. Like I said, oh wow. I am really gonna struggle this month. These magnetics are so beautiful to me. And like I said, I'm very obsessive about that line. It's just so pretty to me when it's crisp and it just like, I don't know if you guys are seeing what I'm seeing. Um, pulls all the pigment, like the, whatever color pigment it happens to be when it pulls it off the nail, it just looks like like marble on your nail. It's so pretty. <sighs> J-Rain is magic, priced at $13. Um, next is, this is a brand I don't have one of, which is another reason why I'm like, ooh, maybe I should get this one. This is Flirtin' Don't Pink the Water. You guys, this pink right here, I don't know why. It is just, 
and it's just pink. Like it's it's not there's no flakies. There's no like, but it's so pretty to me, guys. I am in love with this pink and i keep looking through my polish tracks and i'm like do i have anything close to this color pink do i have anything that does this i i don't think i do price at 11.50 it is described as hold on a vibrant pink pink shade with a soft shimmer um and it's very simple like the description is very simple but it is stunning on the nails like that shimmer and the shift oh my god you guys I am in love with this pink. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to take this is going to stay on my list just because it's so gorgeous. And I'm not, I already showed you guys that one. I'm not like a um, pink polish wearer per se. And so probably in my favorites, like it'd be purple, then blues, then pinks. But this one, so pretty. Um, there's only a hundred bottle oh, bottles. What is a bottle? I have no idea. There's only a hundred bottles available. So yeah, my, um, polishes that I'm going to have to get in there and like grab real soon, you know, because they're capped caps are low. Like that list is really growing. Fancy gloss, the purple one, a thermal 1250 described as a very dark purple can sometimes look like black in some lights when cold to purple when warm packed with pink purple green copper gold flakes and copper red green shimmer um this is probably this is capped at 520 dollars but i'll go ahead i mean 520 dollars 520 bottles but i will go ahead and tell you guys fancy gloss sells out quick they do amazing thermals um their formulas are legit um and they just look so beautiful on the nose. Look at that. My battery's dying, guys. I got to go through these quick. Oh, look how pretty that is. Oh, they're just gorgeous. Um, again, Fancy Gloss, they just, they kill it with thermals. It's just, they're so good. So, $12.50, 520 bottle cap on that one. Um, EDK Mahalo is another magnetic priced at $12.50. It is a magnetic polish, black, pink, yellow, and turquoise iridescent flakes, flakies, and sapphire galaxy glitters. Whew, this one has a high cap, you guys, and it's a good thing because look how gorgeous. Oh my gosh. This one's gonna, I'm not taking this one off, you guys. I just can't. It's gonna stay on here. I'm just letting you know. I don't, I have quite a few magnetics on here, but this one, oh my gosh. So, pretty look at that you don't even have to question this one it's not coming off I don't have anything like this in my collection and it's a must-have so it's really gorgeous um and I don't think I have to worry about missing that one because it's 1200 um bottle cap IDK Mahalo 1250 um and let's see what else do I have Two more left, different dimension, take me to the beach. Price of $11. This is also really pretty to me. Um, described as a gorgeous ocean blue crelly loaded with pink aurora shimmers and holographic micro flakies. This one does not appear to have a, a cap. Different dimensions does not usually do a cap, but this one has a gorgeous shimmer. Mm, I might could maybe pass on this one. This is not a blue that's like a must have. Oh my child, yes! Um, I'm filming. Look how pretty. That is really pretty with that shift, like that shimmer on there. But again, it's not a must have. So no cap on that one. Priced at $11. Different dimension. Take me to the beach. The last one on my list is Cuticula. This is another one I can go ahead and tell you guys is not coming off of here. It's, um, it's Bloom, that's the name of it. Price at $12.50, described as a soft sky blue base with shiny rose gold metallic flakes, purple metallic flakes, and a different size mix of pink and purple glitters. This one's not coming off simply because it is so pretty. And you guys, my camera is not focusing. 
I don't have anything like this. There's nothing like this in my collection. So I feel like I really have to have this one. Like it's a, another must have on my list. <gasps> Look how pretty. It's gorgeous. Um, I've really been wanting cuticular polishes lately. So I don't know. I don't know what that's about. But there is no cap on this one. 15 milliliter bottle. So I should not have a problem snagging that one. So that lets you guys know. I have a what what did i say four or five dollars four or five bottle polish limit for this ppu and i have already listed i don't know what three must-haves <laughs> so you guys have your job cut out for you so i will be needing all of the advice to help me narrow down i'm gonna try to get this posted up tonight so you guys will have time to do that before polish pickup goes live tomorrow it does go live Friday, when is tomorrow? February 5th? Yes, Friday, February 5th to the 8th. So it's Friday through Monday. It goes live at 10 o'clock Central Time and it will run through Monday. Um, so you guys get to wish listing. Hope you guys get all of your polish desires for polish pickup for the month of February. Um, and that's it. If you are watching this video for the first time, you're not subscribed to my channel, please do su consider subscribing, hit the notification bell so you can see future videos from me. Give it a Give thumbs it up. Give it a thumbs up. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.